might vanish, and his death was mourned by thee, a woman who was reached with a light her former boy to be, and thereby anger cooked and fried in the very soul of the innocent, and instead of a pure heart of gold, the evil created a mutant. But as time went by, so did the memories of the evil that was present, can I flower into a heavenly bond and show all that love's content. No longer shall his soul perish, for the wind that the tower stands silent. After many years showered away, the soul shall no longer be violent. My death was almost upon us, the villagers to be full of mourning, and the air to be filled with the scent of death. I must find this woman who strive to see the last breath escape my body. Oh, how crazy I've gone. I've let the only light of my days escape my, escape my reach, and yonder by himself in the deadly hell that surrounds us. Why have I let his days run short? Why have I let him crawl away in fear of my inhumane cause? Squeezing the last breath out of his body. Jeffrey, with you and for I do, you should paint with all the colors of the leaf. Hint! Manicure! 
<laughs> okay, I'll, I'll endure in this journey that will lead me on a road of death and misfortune. Halt! Who goes there? For if I find thee, the very head of your being will be taken into my custody. I am Androchus, the prince of my village, the sun to the earth, the clouds that reflect on the meadows green. Get the bow to your fair lady. Now, if you please, show me to her so I can end her life as miserably and painfully as any man would. Nay, you shall never catch her alive. Yes, indeed, that is the meaning of my journey now, if you please. Why have your sounds been keeping me from my baby sleep? Mama needs to awaken when a brain feels so. And the photo mirror is like a butterfly against a cheetah. Has absolutely no... No brains or no heart to detect the most first from the jungle. Now please, fair knight, leave this tiny insect to the other end of my heavens. Leave this butterfly to the desert where we may shrivel up and die. Oh, do my eyes tell lies of a thousand years? The path has suddenly taken a turn, I see. Have you brought the weapon for the war to come, or a harsh word issue to see? For this, my good friend, is one of the same blood. Ripping out a mother's heart would be like throwing your heart into the thick mud. Now you two have crossed paths. <laughs> Once in the blue moon. Or should I say it once, when your mother almost killed you? So yes, my dear Claudia, this is your issue. And yes, my dear Andrew, your mother has missed you. Anon, I believe, the story must end. Oh, but not yet. There is still much to amend. A, my dear Richard, let us talk about thee. About the content with thy mother, as you, as you will come to see. Oh, how darling. But this, although your son, is also a foe, and I shall kill him. No! <laughs> oh, don't you dare kill one of your own blood, you fool. For your brother does deserve to live, as do I now. For a family has reunited. Oh. <laughs> oh <my laughs> now you shall feel the grief of losing the ones you love. But the grief still rests on my shoulders, for I shall kill myself as gratitude to those who betrayed, loved, and murdered me. No, son! Oh. <laughs> Oh, my son, my only issue for my love and hatred for my queen has led to this. I must take my wisdom and power to kill the monster has lived and thrived off my very soul. Goodbye, love. Uh, uh, plot twist. Um, well, now I shall go back home, for my home is not here. But back where I mourn, and my mourn here is near. For everyone mourns and desires for greater. But my desire here is weak, so I shall speak of it later. Hey, you. I know it's unfair, but hey.